Hi lovely and darling viewers, it's Jen here at Check Her Joy, and this time I'm reviewing The Roundhouse by Louise Erdrich. Um, this focuses on a Native American community, and specifically on this one family where the wife, mother, gets raped and sexually assaulted. And it happens in this area around the Roundhouse, and because she can't specifically remember where she was raped, it's hard to prosecute because there are so many different laws happening and complicating this issue um, with it being near a federal, state, and tribal locations. And depending on whether or not the perpetrator ends up being, um, like if the perpetrator isn't part of the tribe, then the tribal law doesn't have any say whatsoever. Um, the husband is also a judge, so that's interesting. So a main theme in this is violence against women, specifically Native American women, um, and how they're treated, as well as just how Native Americans are viewed in the society. Um, it happens in North Dakota in the 80s, and it's primarily narrated by the 13-year-old son, Joe, who has kind of this somewhat innocence about him at the start of the summer and how he grows up really fast as he sees his parents struggling with this, especially his mother. Um, it is kind of a harder book to read, so it did take me a while. It took me about a month in total to read this book. I was reading a lot of other things and just kind of having to put the book down because it does get depressing and really complicated. Um, there are also a lot of different stories woven throughout here. And looking at kind of the bigger reservation and other members of Joe's family and his best friends, um, which is cool. And like this flashback into life in the 80s a bit. Um, and it's also an older Joe narrating and remembering back. So although it's happening to a teenager, it's much more of an adult book because of the themes that are happening and the narrator's voice. Um, I found this really interesting and a good book to like struggle through all these things, although it's not necessarily the most pleasant read ever. I do like Joe's narrating though and like the way he sees the world, it kind of this balance between these teenage experiences and life um, contrasted against these much harder truths that are happening. So Joe as a character is a lot of kind of a typical boy where he wants to grow up and be considered an adult and wants to know about things, but he's still trying to figure out kind of how the world works and how um, society works. Um, he's also stuck between living on the reservation and these tribal society and like expectations and also kind of the bigger world outside of it. Um, mostly he's kind of content to be on the reservation and to be with his friends. Um, but he does sometimes start thinking about the future. Um, his dad is a judge and is very, like, wise and learned, and they're, like, both very protective of the mother. You can tell that the mom spent a lot of time before this happened, like, keeping an eye on Joe, kind of, um, being protective of him, but because of the violence that happens to her very early on in the book, she kind of shuts down and so she's not quite as emotionally available um, to Joe or to us as the readers. We also get to see some of Joe's relatives like his grandfather who remembers all these tales of like ancient or at least older Native Americans and how things used to be um, to like his different aunts and uncles and how they have each taken different approaches to life. Like his particular parents are not very religious. Um, but one of his aunts is incredibly, like, devoted Catholic and drags, like, his cousins to church and everything. Um, we see Joe struggling with, like, his religious... We see Joe struggling with his religious and worldviews within this book also. Um, and it does kind of explore other people, like, um, there's one character who was born white but then adopted by a Native American family, and so she's kind of on the cusp of being like, she's part of the tribe and was raised in the tribe, but also doesn't quite fit in all the way. There are a lot of like complicated and like technical things that go on in this book, but it's pretty well explained. I mean, Joe's 13, so he 
is kind of like, okay, so what happened? Let's find out and trying to explore it, which is a good way of like narrating it back to somebody who doesn't necessarily know all the quirks of this, um, either the reservation life or the different specific laws and things that are going on with the rape and the sexual assault. Um, it reads like a mystery since we don't know at the beginning of the book what exactly happened to the mother and when we find out that she's raped, like who raped her and slowly we start having the events unfold and finding out who did it um, and then trying to seek justice for this. On the whole, I, so I, I, I liked this book, but I didn't necessarily feel like I'm totally in love with it. Um, it's interesting. It's a cool way to approach this kind of story, but it is a lot deeper, more depressing plot line to kind of struggle through. So I gave it like four stars. I think it did um, approaching this really well, but on the other hand, it's not going to be one of my favorite like books to reread or anything. So I definitely recommend checking out The Roundhouse by Louise Erdrich. And yeah, peace out. I love you guys and keep reading. Bye.